So here it is YouTube, I'm Roadhawk Wilson welcoming you to the Reverie and today we're going to be continuing building D&D for people with disabilities or those with disabilities. These lessons can be tied into any kind of disability from mental health to intellectual to a variety of others. However, today we're going to be focusing on peer cooperation and the reason I say this is important and it is is because you cannot have a successful campaign without a group that is willing to work together. So one of the first things just jumping into this that you have to have is a group that enjoys each other, that is willing to work together. And when you're bringing strangers together, this is gonna be really difficult to foster and to grow. But at the same time, it's also something that is something the campaign itself is meant to do. So. The first thing that I like to do is actually throw in character integration. Help them build their characters together. Help them create a backstory that ties into one another. And ultimately help them have fun building their characters. You can tell them to have free reign over the characters. You can give them limitations. One of the limitations I primarily do is not allowing racist characters. Like characters that hate another race because of X, Y, and Z. I do allow, you know, characters that hate evil or characters that, you know, are chaotic neutral and are kind of out for their own good. But when you have a character that hates another group, it kind of fosters this concept of anger and hostility that you don't really want in a group like this, or any group in my opinion. However, the next thing that you want is to allow an environment of commonality and of free expression. Now, I tend to have a list of rules and guidelines that everyone should follow, and I advise this for any D&D group, D &D group, not even those with disabilities, just because every group should know that there are lines that you cannot cross. Now, when working with individuals who are not used to this, it's a hard road to kind of pave, but it is something that most people are in some way associated with. Within this group, you cannot call someone the, you know, a swear, or an insult. Other groups you can. And you know, there are things that cross the line and you know, in other ways. This is not something that you want people to you know, swear, cuss each other out, yell at each other, stuff like that is just detrimental to paving this road. And I actually keep using the metaphor of paving a road because ultimately that's what you're doing you're building a foundation for them to walk on in their journey in life and in D D. and D D is something that kind of reflects life and decision making and building but that's another thing you want to be able to actually con conceptualize is building a philosophy of this is an area for this group to build their independent thinking skills and ultimately their peer collaboration skills. So one of the core ways to do that is foster group cooperation. If the character doesn't know what to do, I have them ask their partners in their group what they think they should do. Now some people call this metagaming. In this kind of group, it's very important that this peer collaboration happens and by allowing others to chime in and kind of give advice or give opinions without controlling the other person's character, and that'll be the final point we we'll talk about, not controlling another person's character, you allow them to kind of see how the other person thinks, how they grow, how they become their character. And finally, you do not want to let someone control someone else's character. This is a huge issue in a lot of D&D groups. A lot of people will try to tell a character how to play, when you're the DM, it's very different, but if you're just telling someone this is what you should do, do it. It's not healthy and it's not good for the group. However, that I'm going to keep this short because I don't know how long people actually talk to me, but know that you guys are greatly appreciated. Keep up this series. We're, we've done six episodes now, and holy cow, that is massive. Um, we're going to be having our second, uh, seventh coming up next week or two weeks from now, um, when we get to 10, we'll do a celebration. I'm excited, I hope you guys are too. Keep up the nerd stuff, keep up what keeps you happy and healthy, and I'll see you in another video, bye.